Hey everybody, we're going to install Kodi. That's the new name for XPMC. It's the latest version. We're going to install it on an iOS device. This is the iPhone 6 Plus and it's running 8.1.2. That's the latest jailbreakable uh, firmware that you can jailbreak. So I have Cydia installed. We're going to go ahead and click in, into Cydia. And we need a source in here in order to get the uh, Kodi XPMC. So it's Team Kodi down here at the bottom here. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit edit, add, and then what you're going to do is you're going to add in this source here. Now, by the way, I'm using uh, all the information from tvaddons.ag, and that is a great site. It has step-by-step uh, -step instructions, but I'm going to run it through for you. We're going to break this up into two parts where we're going to have the installation, the source, the installation, and then I'm going to show you how to configure it so that everything's ready to go and all you have to do is, you know, go and click it and play and watch your TV shows and everything. So I'm going to hit cancel because I already have it installed here and you're just going to hit install and you go into Team Kodi here and all packages and you're going to see Kodi iOS. So we'll click that, we'll hit install. Now this install takes a little time. Uh, you know, it seems like it gets stuck for a little bit, but sooner or later it will load up and you'll have your Kodi app sitting right on your springboard. Okay, we're at the tail end here and we're going to let that install and then we're just going to return to Cydia. Okay, now we'll just return to Cydia, and now we can close it out, and we're having Cody right there on our springboard. So now I'm going to switch to landscape, because Cody is a landscape uh, app. So we'll open it up for the first time, and you're going to see it looks a little strange, because we have to click this little gear icon at the bottom here. We're going to click Appearance, and we're going to change it from Retouch to Confluence. And now we'll open that up. And you're going to see that it is now the way you like to see it. But of course, Kodi is an empty shell. It's a, a media player. It's got some, you know, some packages, some apps in there. But we want to configure it so that we get everything, um, you know, ready to go and you don't really have to do anything. So now let's go on to how we can configure this. Okay, so we have Kodi here and now we have nothing really installed nothing to click on to watch your shows or your movies or music or pictures or anything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a source. So we're going to hit File Manager under System and we're going to hit Add Source. Then we're going to put this source right in here and it's fusion.tvaddons.ag and we're going to hit Done and then of course we're going to name it. So we'll name it Fusion and we'll hit Done and then we'll hit OK. So now we have the Fusion source in there. And it tells you all different things, you know, where to start. So we'll hit Start here. And you can see that you have different things, like you can add a program, which is an add-on installer. Or you could have Fresh Start, so that if you wanted to just erase everything, you could do that. And then, of course, we got the Hub Wizard. So in order to do that, let's go back home. So now we'll go into Program. And we're going to hit Configuration uh, Wizard. We're going to find iOS Device. We'll click on that. And we're going to add that right in there. Now with the Configuration Wizard, it's a program that allows you to put all these different sources in and set up everything for your iOS device. And TV uh, add-ons, they have a great way of uh, putting everything in shortcuts and adding all the different things and then we can add on do add-ons and we'll go add on a whole bunch of uh, different uh, programs like one channel and uh, you know a whole bunch of other ones that you can get all that great content so we'll let that load up
Okay, so now it's all done. We're just going to wait. Now, look, everything's there now. We have all these different music programs. We have all these different video sites. Of course, you can, you know, add on whatever you want, like movie 4K. You can, you know, everything is in here now. So one channel, you got a whole bunch of stuff here. So let's go and see programs. We also have the Navi X program. And we have a maintenance tool and an add-on installer. So now you could just go on and click all these programs like the add-on installer. And you could just add on repositories. You can, you know, do audio add-ons. You can uh, program add-ons. You can service add-ons. You can do everything. And, and, and the best part is it's, it's all done for you. So you really don't have to do really anything at all. So we have video. Now let's... Uh, Let's do Project Free TV, and we can do TV shows, and we do A to Z. I don't know, we'll just do A, just to see what they have there. Now, it takes a little time for these things to load up the first time around. You know, let them load. Uh, every time you open up TV, uh, you know, uh, Kodi or XBMC, uh, you should let everything update and up, you know, upload. And I, I want to show you that in a second. I just wanted to show you that you know these things do work on the iOS device, uh, whether you use a VPN or your 3G or your Wi-Fi. That's totally up to you. Uh, you know, of course, watching these movies are you know uh, illegal, and you just have to you know use it with a grain of salt. You know, you can't go crazy. Start you know watching every single show. Uh, this is a tool to in order to get you know the cable cut. You know, so you don't have to pay for cable every month. Maybe there's one particular show that you just don't get, and it's on A and E or something. And uh, just you know, use it responsibly, of course. So let's let that load up for the first time, and then you'll see as we go along. You know, you could just click it, and it updates very fast. So look, we got a whole bunch of TV shows here, and you know, you could just click away and do whatever you want you know and uh, like say you wanted to watch uh, American Dad so you click on American Dad it's gonna load up some seasons and you're gonna hit like say season 9 for instance and then you know it'll work it and uh, load up all the different uh, sources for this and then say you want to watch it from the site uh, I don't know Faking Bad or something you know uh, you want you know you watch that episode right there and it's just going to load it up. Of course, I'm not going to play the whole stream. Uh, you know, I'm just going to show you that it does work. And that this is just like XBMC uh, or Kodi anywhere uh, that you install it. Like on your Android device or your Apple TV or whatever. So let's go to this source here. And it's going to open up the stream. Oh, that one is expired. So we'll just go back and we'll find another one. Uh, you know. It, it does work so we'll click that one and we'll open up stream and it'll give you a source I like to use um, uh, one there and there it is it's playing it's pausing and what's good about it is if you closed it out and you wanted to go see something else it would stay in the background there and you could just go to a different episode or you could just resume where you are so let's go home now and we'll scroll over and I'm going to show you the, these programs uh, the maintenance program uh, I'm sorry let me get to that these controls are very sensitive so you have maintenance program and uh, you know you got to be careful about you know playing with these little things here but you can just have so many things that you can do um, you know and it's already configured for you so anyway I'm gonna end the video here uh, basically you have everything set and now you just have to go in play around with it you know uh, add on installer uh, I know there's one here that says automatic updates uh, program add-ons maybe it's this one but you can add different programs and things like that oh I think um, if you go in and you uh, click on uh, 
add-ons. Let me see some video. Video add-ons. Oh, you know what it is? It's a program add-on. So let's go to programs, and we're gonna add add-on. And then there's an add-on in here for like automatic updates. So it's like the first thing you click. Um, let's go to configuration wizard. Let me just see. Oh yeah, we we already have that installed. So you know, you you go in, you you play around with it. And you'll see for yourself that, you know, everything's here. The, the website gives you uh, everything you need in order for you to use XBMC the way it's supposed to. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the comments. Thank you.